Okay, good morning everyone. So my name is Jessica and I'm here on behalf of the marketing team to share with you about our new educational Farm Day program that we have for our company. But before we get into the details of the program, let me share with you a quick story about the blind man and the advertiser. So one day there's a blind man sitting in the corner of the road and in hopes of getting donations, he actually took out a marker and wrote on his signboard. Blind, please help. So this was in hopes of getting more donations, so he left like a tin can in front of him to get coins from people. However, many people just simply walked past him and didn't even pay attention to him or his signboard. But there was one person, an advertiser, who actually saw his signboard. So what she did was that she cancelled his sign and rewrote the whole sign for him. And after that, he actually noticed the sound of coins dropping into his tin can every few seconds. So you might be wondering, what did she write on the signboard that made it so attractive to give him coins? Well, this is what she wrote. It's a beautiful day and I can't see it. So the approach that she took was actually to tug at people's heartstrings and make them want to donate and garner support. So our team actually believes that what we are doing now with our marketing strategies is similar to that of the blind man. We are actually just stating the facts and we are not getting much reaction for our educational farm tours. Therefore our team believes with a new program that we implement, we'll be able to garner support and get more attraction from this new event with the four exciting features that I'm about to share with you. So before we get into the features, here are three things that we have to keep in mind. So firstly, is the objective of our program, which is to spread awareness about our company, which is the only goat farm in Singapore. Secondly, is the target audience, which is mainly targeted at families, especially those who have younger children. And lastly, the budget is to keep within the budget of $10,000. So now let me show you the four features, which are the goat features. So each of these stand for one feature that we're about to showcase. So this stands for goodies, the overnight stay, adventure, and teaching. So without further ado, let's get into the first feature, the goodies. So what the goodies are, we'll actually be giving them this personalized tote bag upon arrival at our farm. So if you want, you can just pass it around and see what's inside. So the things included inside are stuff like our merchandise, so like caps, hairbands, writing materials, and a water bottle, so they can use it throughout our program. And if you want to, you can just take it out and look. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. And the second product, of course, is none other than our company's Farm Fresh Goat Milk. So, this is, we'll, as you can see on the photo, since we have two flavors, we're giving them the option of choosing between chocolate or the original flavor. And the adults will be given the 800ml bottle like this, while children, because they are younger, right, they can't consume so much, so we give them the tinier bottle, the 250ml. And the last goodie is actually a special surprise which I'll cover in the later feature. So for now, let's move on to the benefit of giving out goodies. So actually the benefit we all know is mainly it's an incentive to uh, allow people to sign up for our program, right? But we believe that the overall benefit is product promotion. So by giving them a chance to take a look at what products we have to offer, this will increase the chances of them coming back to our company and buying all these products once again, which will increase the overall revenue of our company. Now moving on to the second feature, the overnight stay in our farm. So I'm quite sure all of you know that has, this, this has never been done before in our company. So we, are, we believe this will be a wow factor for many people to, like, to want to sign up. So the program will last two days and one night, starting on Friday night after closing, running to Saturday morning. And we wanted to do it after closing because we felt that this would prevent like, lesser crowds within our premises so they'd be more comfortable in the space that they're running around in. And also, if you're wondering where they'll be staying, we actually have a shed on site. So the shed will be converted into a sleeping area with like about three families, so a total of about 15 guests can stay for our program overnight. And we actually took inspiration for this overnight program from the Ocean Dream program run by Sea Aquarium. So Ocean Dreams actually allow guests to stay overnight in the Sea Aquarium, in the gigantic fish tank that we all know about, and they get to watch the fish as they sleep. So we thought that this would be a good experience because it provided an educational yet memorable experience for the guests at Ocean Dream, so we want to mimic their approach and do the same for our guests as well. Now moving on to the third feature, which is the adventure component, and it's my personal favourite as well. So the adventure component entails an amazing race, and this will be held within our farm premises. So teams will be given the chance to compete as a family, so one family equals to one team. And one staff member will be assigned to each team to help them navigate around our premises, because it might be a bit confusing for them. And furthermore, we'll have about four challenges for them, and these four challenges will revolve around the theme of Sorry, sorry. We walk around the theme of a behind the scenes look at what a goat farmer does on a daily basis. So the four activities will be as such. Firstly, goat feeding, goat milking, goat grooming, and a hay challenge. 
So these are the four things that actually farmers do on a daily basis. So we thought the best way to teach them about it is not through talking, but rather letting them get their hands dirty and experience what we do on a daily basis. Now we actually wanted to have an outdoor component because we felt that it's important for Singaporeans to get exercise because research has shown that actually Singaporeans spend way too much time using their phones in comparison to getting enough exercise. So a study done by the Health Promotion Board actually managed to determine the average amount of hours that Singaporeans spend using their technology. So Wei Liang, can I ask you, how many hours do you think Singaporeans spend? Three, three hours a day. Actually, you might be very surprised. Singaporeans spend more than 12 hours a day using their digital devices. And this, if you want to put it into perspective, this is about half your day using your phone or your computer and leaving very little time for exercise. Furthermore, the survey also showed that 3 out of 4 Singaporeans agreed that the main reason they couldn't exercise was because of their addiction to screen time. Therefore, our, our team believes that an amazing way is a good way to promote an active lifestyle amongst all our participants. So since Singaporeans can't find the time to set aside to exercise, right, we'll be giving the amazing ways to serve as a platform. Eh, sorry. The amazing ways will serve as a platform for them to put their phones down and get out on their feet and exercise. So we believe that this activity will definitely get their heart pumping and improve their lifestyle in the long run. And lastly, moving on to the very final feature, the teaching aspect. So the teaching aspect will be revolving around the theme of goat milk is life. So what this means is actually how we are going to incorporate goat milk, how we are going to teach them to incorporate goat milk into their daily lives. So remember the special surprise I talked about earlier in the movie's feature? Yeah, actually we do. This is what it is. It's the DIY goat soap that we'll be letting them make on their own and bring home as a souvenir. And also, they're having the chance to make smoothies on their own through a smoothie making session that incorporates goat milk into all the recipes. So for the soap making, since our company already gives out, not gives out, sorry, we sell handmade goat soap to all our customers, we thought why not let them try and hand make it themselves. But I understand there's a concern that kids might be a bit Find it a bit tricky and tedious to make soap on their own because it's a bit technical, right? So our team has thought of making a DIY kit for each family to use together, which will look something like this. Oops, sorry, sorry. It'll look something like this. So the soap, right, actually, the kit has things like ingredients, tools, and the instructions that are required to make the soap. And they can work on it as a family together, which will also help them have a time for family bonding. And furthermore, if the guests enjoy it, right? We will allow them to buy, we will actually be selling this DIY kit, but that's subject to your approval. And we will hope that they can buy some and increase revenue for our company. Because if the activity is very enjoyable for them, why not make money off it, right? So we'll be, we'll be selling these kits and adding it to our line of products so that we can increase our revenue in the long run. And now moving on to the smoothie making session. I'm not sure how many of you remember our collaboration with Kenwood last year in June. But actually at the farmer's market, they use their appliances to make a chocolate mint smoothie that incorporated our goat milk into the recipe. So I remember that there were a lot of people who were interested and tried their hand at making the goat milk smoothies. Therefore, I thought that this was a good idea to implement into our program as well. And furthermore, I'm sure a lot of kids and many of you as well enjoy drinking a smoothie on a hot day in Singapore, right? So therefore, the smoothie making session will actually provide a fun, interactive and hands-on learning experience for all our guests. But if you're worried about what kind of preference you have, because if you're all just making a chocolate mint smoothie, wouldn't it get a bit boring? So actually we are allowing customization for all our guests, so things like different fruits and different ingredients will be provided to all our guests so that they can choose what ingredients they want to make their smoothie out of but, and personalize it to their own taste preference. And don't worry, we'll always make sure that there's one staff monitoring everyone to make sure that goat milk is incorporated into everyone's recipes so that we can stress on the importance of putting goat milk into our daily lives. And this is because of the main benefit of telling them why they can incorporate it into our daily lives is because of the nutritional benefits that it brings us. So once our guests understand the importance of nutritional benefits provided by our goat milk, I believe that it will increase the chance of them buying our goat milk again and using it on a daily basis, which will overall lead to an increase in revenue. So actually I've come to the end of all the features, but you might ask how does this answer the main objective of spreading awareness, right? Sorry. So actually through our product promotion, which is through the goodie bag giving out and the teaching of how to incorporate goat milk into our daily lives, we'll be hard selling our milk to them and this will actually help us to increase revenue in the long run because they'll be more enticed to buy our goat milk because they can use it on a daily basis. So with an increase in revenue, this means our market share will also increase and increase our presence as a company in Singapore. Therefore, this has, will help us to spread awareness about our company and create brand awareness. But lastly, our team believes that through the memorable experiences provided in the amazing list and the overnight stay is what will actually make this program a success. 
because the, the memorable experiences are like are never done before in other companies, we feel that this is something that our guests would share about with their friends and family. And ultimately, through word of mouth, we hope that we can spread well for our company and also about this program in particular. So before I move on to the budget or any other like um, administrative questions, do you have anything to ask? Do you have like an age limit or you know like the soap making causes that you have regarding like really young toddlers? Okay, because we don't really have an age limit, but the idea of the families working on it together would make it easier for staff to handle as well. So if you have adults such as your parents to help you supervise the younger kids, then maybe it will be easier. So it's not so like they are just shown in like one person, one kid to make on their own. They work at it as a project, so it's easier to manage, yeah. Thank you. Anything else? Um, for the amazing race, right? Yeah. So for the participants, do they like have like hands-on uh, with the like, interaction with the goods? Oh uh, yeah, of course they will because we want to mimic how our goat farmers actually like we want to let them experience what our goat farmers do on a daily basis and actually it can be quite interesting like for example the goat milking right we want to teach them how to like hand milk the goat because that's not something you get very commonly in Singapore it's only like a very westernized culture kind of um, activity right so we want to give them a new experience that's never going to be done anywhere else in Singapore you can only come to our farm to get it so yeah if it answers your question we will be letting them get their hands dirty and do all the challenges training for all the farmers who are involved in this program. So I said our farmers already know the process of like what they need to do at work, right? It's not like they need extra training to learn how to milk a goat or groom the goat. So it's more of just telling them how to interact with our guests and how to make it a fun experience for them. So that and they'll be supervising each group right like as I mentioned like one team we provided one staff member to walk around the farm with them. So every station they get the, the farmer will already be there to help them through the process. So I hope that answers your question. Okay, so there's nothing else, let me just cover the budget. So this is how we're going to split our budget. So because you want, our main focus is to spread awareness, right? So we'll be actually spending most of our budget on publicity. So since I mentioned things like Singapore is using a lot of technology nowadays, we believe the main source of publicity should be through social media, such as Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter advertisements. And for logistics, because a lot of things are done on site, right? Like in our premises. There's not much to spend on, but we have to set aside money for things like buying the ingredients to make smoothies, or like the appliances and the overnight shit, like the sleeping arrangements for all our guests. And lastly, it's the staff. Like I mentioned just now, um, we have to train, not, not train, sorry, we have to have additional staff to come in and work out of their regular working hours. So we definitely have to pay them a bit extra. So we set aside a small amount, about 20% for them, yeah, as their salary. So overall, I hope that the program has sounded appealing to all of you and if there are no further objections or questions, I hope that our team can follow through with this, all these four features. So, everyone okay with that? Yes. Okay, so that brings you to the end of the presentation and thank you for listening.